Magazine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we've got a bottle of beer from Easter Boys in New Zealand. This is a bottle of their Pot Kettle Black South Pacific Porter. 6% ABV. I wanted to make sure I reviewed this beer. Uh, I've, had, I've had it a number of times before. It's lovely stuff. Uh, I was listening to Stu from um, Yeasty Boys on the um, Beer O'Clock show when they did a live one from, um, uh, what was it called? That shop in London, I can't remember it off the top of my head. Hot Burns and Black. And he mentioned it's called that because he's a big Wilco fan. As I am, if you are aware. And that's you, if you, I hope you see this. Um, you'll have noticed my intro music has always been a little snippet from uh, Wilco's Heavy Metal Drummer. So I wanted to make sure I review this. Anyway, beer in the glass. It's pretty damn dark for a party. I mean, especially at 6%. I go, yeah, I'm going to go black with a, yeah, I can't see anything through that hint of crimson towards the edges. Nice, kind of ash like. Kind of head on that, so as far as the aroma goes, that's nice. There's an earthiness to it, there's a slight kind of flat cola note going on there, mushroom, cocoa powder, kind of slight carbon note, kind of um, like charcoal left over from a, like a fire the previous night, spent coffee grounds. But yeah, something keeps coming back to me is cocoa powder and mushrooms. Anyway, not in a bad way. Anyway, let's dive in. Cheers. That's lovely. I remember um, listening to you talk about this beer. It is somewhere between a porter and a black IPA. And what is a porter these days? Traditionally, it's, it's said that um, the difference between a porter and a stout these days is the use of roasted barley. So this is on the kind of like more um, kind of berry, hint of licorice kind of side of things. Really clean though, really crisp. That kind of like burnt carbon edge to it as I said. But they also wanted it to be a, a showcase of, um, of New Zealand hops and that is in there. I'm getting kind of melon but then it's that traditional thing that I get where dark malts and kind of citrus hops meet and become kind of more berry like hint of kind of raspberry and blueberry blackberry really quaffable for six percent it is relatively thin I am using my um, Brewdog Teku because it, this beer as far as I'm aware is brewed at Brewdog at the moment in the UK um, because she used to buy it out of contract brewer, they've never owned a facility, so it's not like something dirty is going on here. I mean, obviously, the Brewdog, fantastic, high quality facility, so they're going to make good quality beer at a, an, at a decent volume as well, and that's clearly important for Yeasty Boys. Because the New Zealand Beer Collective are making a real big push in the UK, and this sells a lot, and rightfully so. It's a really quaffable beer. I'd love to try it on keg, actually. On nitro, ho ho. I think it would pad it out. But it's a real quaffable, tasty black beer. I don't think it's a porter, but I guess it's a South Pacific porter, and whatever that means is completely down to them. So that is a bottle of Yeasty Boys Pot Kettle Black, a South Pacific porter at 6% ABV from New Zealand, brewed in, in Ellen, Scotland, as far as I'm aware. Anyone does it say on there? Oh, it does, yeah. It says it there. See, I don't feel dirty, but yeah. And the benefiting from Brewdog's lovely kind of like printing as well. We've got that kind of like textured thing. Big fan of Yeasty Boys. She was a lovely, lovely fella. Anyway, I'm Rob from Hopsine.com. See you next time. Cheers.